This is our basic calf mobilization. Looks very similar to the kind of stretch you've probably been doing forever. So for starters, put your foot on something. This can be a curb, uh, even the side of your counters. The key here is to not let your ankle collapse. So we're gonna try to maintain a position where the ankle is in the middle of the foot versus the inside of the foot, and I don't let my knee come in and let the arch kind of fall apart. I'll end up missing some key components here. I've got a yoga block here, and all I'm gonna do is make sure that I can actually squeeze my glutes and flex my quads at the same time. This is one of the key pieces that gets lost when we're trying to address not just the musculature, but also the connective tissue of the calf. So most of us tend to do this, like something like this, I feel a little tension. And again, I'm interested in can I engage the glutes and bring that leg all the way tall. The next level for this is to try to step across. If you can just add a little bit of a step to this, that will take this foot and put it into a little bit more challenging position as the leg comes behind the body. So even if you just walk this across, you're gonna start to see that you're adding a little bit of rotation. And so adding that little bit of rotation where my body turns on the stable foot, winds up this calf beautifully. This is a wonderful thing to do for a minute at a time during the day, but if you're giving it a dedicated dose, two or three minutes of, of work will be amazing. Again, not just end range tension, can I have control here? Can I reconnect my glutes to my foot?